Round three of what's the best Guardian Lago. Here we go. This is the Radiant Guardian Lago. Looking very green and radiant. <laughs> he looks like he's gonna burn me with my radiation. Or the Monochrome Guardian Lago. This guy kind of looks very... What's the opposite to radiant? Dull. That's what that guy is. And the Crystal Guardian Lago. Which is the best out of these three? Let me know in the comments. Those are some pretty cool looking slimes. I can hear tar music. I can hear tar music. Oh, it's hard to choose between the radiant or the crystal. I don't know. Whoa, 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 that guy's gone full ghost mode. These are some fashion pods from the last video that I didn't actually get around to making because they required a lot of stuff. All right, uh, we have the hollow fashion pieces. What about the hearts? Oh, look at that. He's got little hearts floating around him. And I'm gonna give this one a crown. That is a cool fashion pod. You guys can have a couple as well. There you go. Have some of these weird chunky things. I've got no idea what they are. Um, can I give the tar some hearts? You, you can't put fashion pods on a tar. What about a chicken? Oh, yeah, nice. He's got hearts on him. Oh, you just, you just ate him. Did you really need to eat that chicken? I'm going to give a chicken a cramp. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Let's check him out. Where is he? Where's my king chicken? Oh, well, there he is. It's in his mouth. The crown is in his mouth like he's carrying it around. So Slime Ranger 2 comes out in just a couple of days. And you better believe I'm playing it. I am totally playing that game. This could be one of the last times I play Slime Ranger 1 for a while. Because I might just be playing the heck out of Slime Ranger 2. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you're getting Slime Ranger 2. And if you're going to play it, I mean, I'd hope that you played it if you did get it. That, that would be really sad if you didn't. But I've got something super special to show you guys today. Some very interesting mods. This mod is by Comics PL, and it's called the Restoration Mod. It adds a bunch of stuff that was in the very, very early stages of Slime Rancher 1. Things that got cut out, like this thing here. This is called The Pit. It's an expansion, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we have these plots, right? We could do stuff with these. Look at this. We could make a garden out here for some reason if we wanted to. This mod actually adds a couple of areas that were cut from the game. What is that over there? Is that one of them over there? Maybe that I'm going to fly over there in a minute. Okay, so I can make a garden here. That's cool. And I can put some slimes down there, which is actually pretty good because I have an idea for something I'm going to do in a corral. Yeah, I'm talking like a thousand slimes. I reckon we do this. This thing right here, Spawner Upgrade, this is a mod by Fruitsy that adds a spawner, a slime spawner, inside the corral. And you can configure it to make it spawn any kind of slime you want inside the corral, and it will just keep spawning them, and you can set like a limit. Okay, I'm gonna fly out there. Let's go. So like I mentioned, the restoration mod adds a bunch of old stuff that was cut from the game back into the game. Things like the prototype indigo quarry, which is, this is what that is. This is what it is. Let's go check it out. Apparently there's also some tar, some like really old looking prototype tar. There's a teleporter. Where does that go? I don't know where it goes. Okay, I think I'm gonna come back in the daytime. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Day 546. Oh man, okay. There's slimes out here. That's nice. So this looks like the indigo quarry, like normal, but you can see it's actually, it's way different. Like the landscape is different. There's a few slimes. Hey, we've got the quartz slimes out here. That's cool. They added in like custom slime spawners. Hey champs, how are we going? I've never been here before. I've never been to this weird quarry place. Whoa, this is amazing. Okay, we've got a few pogo fruit trees. Oh, old carrot? <laughs> what is old carrot? Oh, we need to compare old carrot to new carrot. Old pogo fruit. Okay, I'm getting this old pogo fruit. Whoa. I feel like I'm in some kind of weird twilight zone. Oh, like it's the same, but it's not the same. I want you guys to let me know in the comments as well what your predictions are for Slime Rancher 2. What sort of stuff you think is going to be in there. Obviously, things that they haven't said are already going to be in there. I mean, like secret sort of things or maybe just stuff they haven't mentioned. I'm getting some more old carrots. I like them. Yeah, rock slime. Have an old carrot. Do we get an old plot? No, just a rock plot. Oh, they've even got the weird ring tunnel thing. Hey, chickens. It's always nice exploring a new area. It kind of makes me wish that there was an official level editor and like a good, you know, Slime Rancher workshop so that players could share their own like maps and stuff. That'd be so great. I hope that kind of thing comes out for Slime Rancher too. What I'm expect- Ow! Dude! Hey! 
Eat an old carrot. I'm expecting a new kind of rare slime though. That's kind of what I'm expecting out of Slime Rancher 2. You know what I mean? Like when players first started playing Slime Rancher and they came across the gold slime, they were like, wow, this thing's incredible. I'm expecting something like that. All right, I had to fly all the way back here. I wonder if there's like a teleporter somewhere. We need to find the third area. Let's just jump into the wilds for a second here over at Ogden's place. I'm gonna get these. These are the hearts fashions. And we'll get some crown fashions. Yeah, awesome. We have the heart slime, right? Let me get this going. Let me get it. Let's put hearts around a heart slime. Do you get double the hearts? You do! <laughs> Look at that! He's got like two lots of hearts going around. And let's give him a crown. Oh, that is cute. Oh, see this slime here? This is called a null slime. It eats slimes. It also eats chickens. It's actually just called null. It's just, it's not even a null slime. It's just called null. I'm going to do something special with null at some point in this video. Something pretty crazy. I don't know what's going to happen. All right, out in the moss blanket. So I'm looking for, looking for like maybe a teleporter, something to take us to the third area that's been restored. Gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe it's over this way? Oh, I'm just gonna fly over here. Let's land on this. Maybe they put the teleporter over here. There is a teleporter over there, but that one takes you over to Mustache Island. Okay, I've got one of the new pogo fruit or the normal pogo fruit. Yeah, they're different. It's like brighter and that one is super dull looking. I like the old ones better. Hey, hold up. What? This is it. This is the other area. So this is the original, like, ruins. It was just like a placeholder. What is that? Old tar slime. Whoa. Those things are creepy looking. Look at his mouth. Okay. Man, it's like the tar's uglier brother. Old brother tar. <laughs> He's gonna haunt your dreams. And we've got a boom slime up here too. Sorry, boom gordo. Hey there, dudes. Yeah. Have some heart fashions. Yeah, cool. It's got love hearts. Here, have a crown. Have some hollow pieces. Whoa. I was actually able to change it to something called the old incinerator. And this is also part of the restoration mod. This is what the incinerator used to look like back in the day. All right, destroy all these heartbeats. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna try something pretty crazy. I'm gonna go back over to this pit area. We've got spawner upgrade. Now I had to jump into the files of the game and very easily I changed it over to spawn gold slimes. So if I go like that, it should spawn some gold slimes. How many will it spawn though? How many is that? Two, four, six, is that like 12? I don't know, let me pick them up. We'll find out. Uh, a few more than 12. More is spawning as I'm sucking them up. All right, then I'm going to spray them in there. And do they stay around? No, you can see some of them popping out of existence. Yeah, so that was like 68 and now there's like 15. I'm going to see if that works in all other locations. Okay, so I've got a corral here just in like this area. What's this area called? The free range bit. Oh, I forget its name. Let's go spawn upgrade and see how many gold slimes we get coming out of this one. Uh, got a few. Oh, we're definitely getting more this time. So I said in the reef or the ranch, spawn up to a thousand. Let's see if it keeps up with that. Now you might be wondering why I created that null, <laughs> the null slime. It eats gold slimes. When it eats a gold slime, it produces a gold plot. So I'm going to get a thousand gold slimes in this corral. And then I'm going to put a null in there and we're going to see what happens. Oh, they're actually getting out of there because they keep smacking into the... Oi! Stop it. Have you noticed they like to stack? They almost like to stack more than regular slimes like to stack. Whoa, dude! A gold cursed slime. That is really cool. Okay. We have a lot of slimes in there at the moment. This game is going to start slowing down so much. Okay, I need to get myself a null and come back. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. It stopped raining. Okay, give me a null. Let's go. He doesn't even have a symbol, like an icon thing. It's just a big red scary question mark. Let's get a null. Whoa, that's a lot of gold slimes. Okay, let's put him in there and see if he eats them. I'm guessing he can't eat them quick enough because this thing's just gonna keep creating more and more gold slimes as he's eating them. Oh my God. Uh-oh. I feel like the guy who created the zombie apocalypse. 
Not in real life, in like a movie. <laughs> you know, there's been no zombie apocalypse. Um, hmm, how do we get rid of the gold slimes? That's the question. They're definitely taking over. Let's, uh, I guess, let's just get rid of this corral. Actually, no. Let's put five of these guys in there. Now, I've modified these guys again. When they eat a slime, they should produce another null. Let's remove this corral so that they stop producing more gold slimes. And hopefully this game can speed up again. Everything is so messy. There's just slimes all over the place. Okay, how many nulls do I have? I have five. These guys should continue to eat the gold slimes just on their own until they're all gone. They will produce gold plorts though, so maybe I should get one of these drones to go around and pick up the gold plorts. That way I don't have so many. You, you're on gold plort duty. Plorts. Source, anywhere. Destination, silo. Cool, okay. Hopefully that drone wakes up in a minute. There he goes. He's going to collect those gold plorts around the place. He's actually just run into a tree. Oh, I'm getting so many of these weird cursed Largos. Okay, where's the nulls? I think my nulls have gone again. I think it's fair to say that the gold slimes definitely won that round. There's so much gold everywhere. This is crazy, dude. Okay, what is he eating? Oh, he just became a gold slime. Right, they eat plorts as well. That's where my null are going. And he's got tar things coming out of his body. That's weird. <laughs> I've configured these slimes very weird. We still have a few of these guys left, but not as many as before. And it looks like the gold nulls are actually eating. Oh, there we go. So the gold null will eat a slime, but then it will also spit another null out. Look at this guy in here, just with his shine slime, just hanging out with his hens. <laughs> he's like, he's smiling, watching all this crap unfold. Okay, the null are definitely starting to win. You can see them multiplying, that's good. They keep eating each other. <laughs> they eat each other and then they, he like eats him and then he poops him out again. And then he eats him. It's like this eating poop triangle going on. Look at this, the same three null keep eating and pooping each other back out. It's weird, it's super weird. Just get away from each other. Stop it, you're creeping me out. But the Null are definitely taking over, so that's good to see. But like I said, you guys are going to see me playing Slime Rancher 2 in a couple of days. And if there's any things you want to see in the game, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time.